Who has the most aura in Jujutsu Kaisen? For me, it's always been between Sukuna and Miwa. So today we're going to find out by doing an aura tier list. Man, this is by far the most brain rot video I've ever done. Now, I have not read the manga, so this is going to be anime only. I just had to put that disclaimer out there because manga readers always in my comments like this. Green, nigga, green. Now, first off, we have Hanami. And as some of you might know, I despise Nanami. That is like my least favorite character in Jujutsu Kaisen, but I'm not gonna lie, she did, she did kind of have some aura. Like, I remember when she first pulled up, like, everyone was just shook, bro. So as much as this hurts me, I'm gonna have to put you in presence. Now, Junpei, you actually have negative aura, bro. That, bro, it, the drip you got on is so fucking trash, man. He might actually be, like, the most auraless person on this list, I'm not gonna lie. And now, uh, I think Esso, uh, you kind of just had no aura, I'm not gonna lie. Instantly, you just got demolished by, like, two students and that's all we really saw from you so yeah and Haruta you already know my man's got aura every time this man walks into a scene it's just straight chaos bro and Nanami we're gonna put you right here I mean this scene alone had the most insane aura ever as a whole I feel like he kind of lacks a little bit to be put in aura but you you're good there you know what I think we're gonna change this one to I think I'm gonna change this one to spiritual pressure in honor of Bleach getting a new game and a new season I I, Inumaki, I'm, I'm gonna nice you and I'm gonna put you here. Maybe you should have been here, but for now, I feel like you can stay there. I mean, I don't know. Losing your arm off screen is kind of like negative aura, but okay, I kind of have to put him down there, don't I? Now, Toji, I mean, he gotta be put in aura, bro. Every time this man walks into the room, again, like, people are just shook, bro. Like, when he pulled up into the domain, like, everyone was just shitting their pants. And most of them didn't even know who he was. They didn't know who he was, whether or not he was on their side. They were just scared, man. So I think he very easily gets put in aura. And Mahito, um... I feel like he's between these two. I mean, he got that like creepy aura, you know, like he could be in the corner of the room, but you just, you just know he's there. I think I'm going to put him at the top, honestly. And then the grasshopper aura, bro. This man is built differently. Actually, I can put you at the top here. And Amaki, I'll put you in neutral aura. I mean, it's kind of funny because technically she literally has no aura, right? Because she doesn't have cursed energy. And then the principal you were absolutely useless man i'm gonna put you in forgettable aura and then now Beto, probably in neutral and that's being a little bit generous too but you know i'm just gonna put him there yuji also i'm gonna put in neutral nobody really gets scared when he enters the room most of the times the villains are literally like laughing in his face do you know what i mean but toto this man got aura bruh when this dude stepped into the room against mahito bruh bro got like the cinematic entrance and everything like this man got aura for days man i can actually feel my brain rotting in real time as i'm recording this video this dude uh, now Sukuna, I mean, he, he has aura, bro. C come on, bro. He got aura. I mean, when they resurrected him in Shibuya, the reactions that certain people had, I mean, it kind of speaks for themselves, I feel like. Remember that one scene where bro couldn't even look him in the eye? Like, come on, man. The glazing is crazy right now, dude. You're literally a Hall of Fame glazer, bro. And then Choso, very, very neutral as well. Now, <laughs> why did they do my man Dagon like this, bro? They did my man's dirty. Dagon got... He got neutral aura, I'm, I'm gonna give him that. Once he turns into the, like, proper, like, squid crab mode thing, he kind of got some aura to him, I'm, I'm gonna give him that. And then Gojo, also, I'm gonna say he got aura. People fear him, like, he is the strongest. Even as a child, he was making people shit themselves, like, come on, bro. Nobara, you got no aura, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. This old dude, you also got no aura. Jogo... You actually got hella aura, my boy. Now, the reason I'm putting Jogo this high is because, like, yeah, sure. Like, he did pull up against Gojo, and he did get bodied. But when he first initially pulled up, like, Gojo, I mean, he wasn't scared. But he was kind of stressing. He was telling, like, Ichiji, like, yo, get the fuck out of here. Like, shit's about to go down. And I feel like Gojo was just, just a little bit shook if at the start. Then again, maybe that is a little bit too high. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put you in, in spiritual pressure. You're still Jogo, though. Don't worry. And now, Ichiji himself, obviously, my man got got maximum aura strongest character in the show this dude you know i feel like he was all right i feel like i remember him actually being kind of intimidating until gojo turned him into spaghetti but you know and then this dude he has no aura but that's obviously exactly what he wants because if he has no aura then nobody really notices him miwa uh, i'm guessing most people can guess where i'm gonna put her 
An aura, bro. Come on. She don't play with me, man. She got all the aura. Kamo actually has negative aura, though. This man is so fucking trash, bro. I hate this dude. Old lady. Uh, I, I'm, I don't even know. I'm gonna put Panda in the same tier, honestly, even though I love Panda. Now, Talika, I feel like definitely has aura. I mean, she wasn't even there in the fight against Mahito, but her presence was still felt. Like, she beat Mahito's ass without even being there. It wasn't even real, but she still did it. Like, what? I mean, just look at the screenshot alone. Like, that's that's aura, bro. Now, this dude, I'm not gonna lie, so far, you got no aura. That's just that. It, it gotta be. Utahime, absolutely abysmal aura, man get get out of here yuta uh well i've only seen the movie and, and the anime obviously so i don't even really know where i'd put him i, I genuinely don't know we're just gonna put you here i guess i, I don't know this dude listen bro you are a victim certified lover boy certified pedophiles i don't know i think i'm just gonna put him there he got that victim aura mecha Moro, i think i'm gonna put him in spiritual pressure i mean when he pulled up with a giant mech like his his pressure was felt bro man that's actually hilarious because whoever made this list did not include her sister they just included her so off of that alone we're gonna have to put you in negative you know kind of has no aura unfortunately man ghetto ghetto is very neutral i feel like now this one this one is tough man i mean hmm i feel like the guitar alone should should put him in spiritual pressure like that thing that thing was pretty hard fushigiro also kind of neutral like you're just kind of there my forgettable as hell though i can't lie as, especially you you might have negative nah i'm gonna put you in forgettable and all of these guys I don't care. So we're just going to end it there. The list looks honestly very different to the fraud list I did though. So if you want to see my fraud tier list, make sure to check out this video right here.